What is going on, Ant Crew? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to a brand new exciting video. If you guys are new to the Ant Crew, if you're new to my channel, the Ant Crew is a place for aspiring YouTubers, aspiring creative entrepreneurs, aspiring photographers, aspiring editors, people like that. If you feel like there's nobody around you who is like you, there's nobody who dreams like you, there's nobody who has aspirations or goals like you that surround you, then the Ant Crew is a place for you. So I urge you guys to join the Ant Crew and join the social innovators of tomorrow. All right, that was a mouthful, not gonna lie. Do I sound like an infomercial yet? Yep, I do. Right now, I'm sort of just outside. I've been cooped up inside a lot lately, and I just need to get some fresh air, you know, as one should. Tucker! There you are, Tucker. How's it going, buddy? How's it going? Besides myself, the two most heavily featured living creatures in my videos are Saki and Tucker. So my question for you guys is, are you hashtag team Team Tucker, or are you hashtag Saki Squad? I want you guys to comment down below. Pretty much the question comes down to, are you a dog person or are you a cat person? So I want you guys to comment either Team Tucker or hashtag Saki Squad down in the comments below. Tucker's got a few things going for him. He's super loving. He actually seems to enjoy hanging out with us, and he's an overall good dog. And then Saki has a very long raccoon-like tail, and he also seems to hate everything. And I believe his life goal is to bring destruction to the universe. So I'm gonna let you guys Decide on that one. Mwah. All right, but enough chit chat about these two animals. Let's talk about what you probably clicked on this video for, which is to learn how to do the Twitch glitch effect in After Effects. All right, guys, so I'm on the computer now, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this Twitch glitch looking transition. I'm gonna play a few clips for you guys of the actual transition so you guys can get an idea of what we're actually trying. Seems to, to be accelerating with each hour. Now, I do want to make it very clear that this was originally inspired by a fellow YouTuber named Ryan Nangle. I love Ryan Nangle. He's such an amazing YouTuber, and he's a really good editor as well. The only issue is, is that almost all of his tutorials are for Final Cut Pro exclusively. So people like me, and probably you if you're watching this video, cannot benefit from his tutorials. The other day, I noticed that Ryan Nangle made a video about how to make Twitch transitions in Final Cut Pro. And I thought the transitions looked super cool, and I would have a pretty good idea about how to make them in After Effects. and. Premiere Pro. So with all credit where credit is due to Ryan Nangle himself, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make this Twitch transition in Premiere Pro slash After Effects. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head down to the description of this video and download the preset template. To do that, hit the link and it should bring you to a preview that looks something like this. Click the download button and it's going to download the preset template onto your computer. I'm going to go ahead and drag that onto my desktop just so I can easily access it. Now you're going to want to open up Premiere. If you guys were in the middle of a project and wanted to add this transition then just open up that project but since I don't have a project yet I'm gonna create a new one I'm gonna name this tutorial I'm gonna just save it to my desktop and hit ok once again if you are in the middle of a project then you're just gonna want to scroll and find the two clips that you want to transition in between but since I don't already have a project opened up I'm gonna import a couple of different clips now it's important to understand that this kind of transition should be used in a very particular place I would strongly urge you all against using this transition in an upbeat sunny environment but rather I think this transition is most effectively used in a more moody urban sort of futuristic tone so in essence I wouldn't use this transition if I was at a beach but if I was in a city and it was night and it was kind of dark and moody and gritty then that would be a perfect place to use this type of transition so here I've got these clips from when I was traveling at night I'm gonna select both of them and open them up I'm gonna drag them to create a new sequence and there we go. I'm gonna cut these two clips down really quickly and something just like that. Now I'm gonna select these two clips and right click. And you could just hit replace with After Effects Composition, but I have that key binded to my number nine on my keyboard and that does it for me automatically. Uh, it's gonna ask me to create a new project. I'm gonna name it Twitch. So now you've got your two clips inside of After Effects. You're gonna head over to the project panel, select it, hit Control I on PC or Command I on Mac, and you're gonna open up the file previously downloaded. It should be called Twitch AE Files. Hit import, and then once again over in this project panel, you're going to open up this folder. There's a composition called Twitch Preset. Double click that 
and that'll open up the project file. Now that you're in the preset composition, you're gonna select all of these different layers. Just select them all, hit Control C on PC or Command C on Mac, and copy them and then paste them into your new composition. Now in between these two purple adjustment layers is where the transition is in the middle. So you're gonna line that up with the middle of these two clips as well. Now there's two different layers called copy my keyframes. Now the sole purpose of these layers is to store the information and the keyframes that I made for you guys. So what you're gonna do is select copy my keyframes O2 and hit U on your keyboard. That's gonna show you what keyframes it has. Select those keyframes, copy them, and then go down to the layer beneath it and hit command or control V. And what that's gonna do is paste those keyframes on that layer. Now do the exact same thing for the second layer. Select this adjustment layer, hit U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes, select the keyframes, go down to the file beneath, hit control V, and paste the keyframes down below. And there you go, now you have all the keyframes copied and pasted. There's only one more thing to do. You're gonna go up to the first adjustment layer, copy the motion tile, hit command C, go below, command paste, and then go to the next adjustment layer, copy the motion tile, go down to the layer beneath, and paste the motion tile. And there you go, I know that sounds complicated, but it only takes a couple of minutes in real time. And if we RAM preview this, and when we play it back, it should look something like this. There you go. As you guys can see, it's super smooth, it's super kind of futuristic, urban, and like I said, kind of moody. This whole glitch RGB sort of effect is kind of moody, and if you were to use this in like a bright, upbeat setting, it just wouldn't work. So make sure you're using it something that's a little bit dark, a little bit gritty. Now the cool thing about this sort of preset, if you will, is that it's very customizable. You can change everything, you can make it zoom in, you can make it zoom out. It's super fun, super easy to make. It's a very simple transition, but I think it can be used very effectively, and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys have any questions about how specifically you can customize it, then just comment down below, and I'll do my best to answer. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. All right, guys, like I said, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the little bit at the beginning of this video, and you also enjoyed the tutorial. If you guys have any, like, tutorial-specific requests, like a tutorial you wanna see, then comment down below and let me know. Or if there's just a random video you wanna see, also comment down below, because I appreciate knowing what you guys wanna actually see. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications if you're new. Join Lee and crew. I want this to be a community where people can learn and talk about and think creatively together about social innovation and things like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!